This is the Spartan Body and Mind Podcast. My name is Seth Winterhalter. I'm your host today. Today we're talking about when is the best time to get started. It's January. It's 2023. New Year's resolutions. Oh yeah, I'm finally going to start my fitness program. I'm finally going to do it. Finally going to start. When is the best time? You know what? It's just it's just this. Now is the best time. Now. 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 It's always now. Um, I, I was talking with a lot of clients in November and December, trying to get them to start the program then. And they said, it's, that's what I got. The number one reason, Oh, it's the, it's a bad time. Oh, it's the holidays. Oh, it's a bad time. And what's going to be funny is now I'm about to start getting on the phone call again, starting to talk with people again. And you know what? I'm going to get the same excuse. It's a bad time. Guess what? It's always a bad time. You know, what's a bad time. It's a bad time because you're lazy. It's a bad time because you are, oh, I now I need to focus on, I got this distraction. Got, we just always have distractions. We always have something that comes up. We always have this party and this thing and this, that, well, I got now I got to pay off Christmas. I don't have any money. <sighs> Excuses. And they're all dumb. They're all bad. They're all, they're all, they all show why you need a program. Why you actually need a solution? Because you're a problem. You make bad decisions. You spend money on stupid stuff. You you spend time uh, doing stuff that's not getting you to where you want to be. And again, I want to be careful here because this doesn't mean that your whole life's got to be work and training and it's all, no, I want you to enjoy life. I want you to enjoy, right, spending money on gifts for your children and your friends and your spouse. I want you to, I want you to enjoy the holidays, eating just delicious food, sugary, carbohydrated, fatty foods, right? Those are great memories and great times. I want you to be able to do that. But if your whole life, is trying to pursue these moments of pleasure at the expense of actually living a really healthy, vibrant life, then you're very small. You just have a very small mind. And and the problem is that mind is leading you into debt. And it's not just financial debt. It's leading you into, into physical debt. It's leading you. Like I know guys who, man, they're brilliant guys. They're hard workers. They love their families, but they're not prioritizing their health. And they're making a lot of excuses. Why? Because they're not prioritized. Because they're more prioritized in making everyone happy than making themselves healthy. And what they don't realize is the things that they're making the people around them happy with are are not lasting things. And if something happened to them, if, if their health, which is going towards a precipice of disaster... If something happened to them health-wise, it would be none of the gifts that they've given, none of the time that they've spent would would be an adequate measurement um, to make up for their poor decisions, right? If you if you suffer a stroke, if you suffer a heart attack, if you suffer diabetes ailments, if you if you all of a sudden right you you can't go. You can't be physical. You can't go push your kids around the block on their bikes. You can't do this. You can't. You, you, now all of a sudden, you're the excuse maker. Where, well, I bought you good Christmas gifts, but we want you to actually play with us with our gifts. Well, I'm too tired. I'm too. Like, think about it. Think about we. We oftentimes give short term solutions because we don't want to do the hard work that will actually give the best gifts. Us, us at our best. So when's the best time? It's now. It's now. Take time now. Just a quick message for you because I just, I think that this is, it's an excuse that comes up that we, we don't want to really look in the mirror and think about. And that is, there is no good time. There will always be things that come up. And this is why I say, in fact, this is why I tried to say to the, the people in November, December, I said, now's the best time. Because if you can if you can get a hold of your life, if you can set healthy habits and boundaries and disciplines when you have Thanksgiving and Christmas and parties and all the temptations around you, if you can set a, a new you, if you can create a new you in those environments, then in January, February, December, March, when, when it's easy going, when there are no distractions, it's going to be so easy for you to, to reinforce those new habits. 
But instead, you're going to wait, and, and now it's going to be easy times. So what are you going to do in the hard times? What are you going to do all of a sudden when it's 4th of July and Memorial Day and all the picnics and all the ribs and all the, again, it's one thing I want you to be able to, to enjoy in some of those things. But for some people, they, they'll enjoy a 4th of July picnic, and then it's a picnic for seven days straight, right? Because they can't get a hold of their lives because they have no discipline. So it, there's is never a bad. There's never a good time. There's always it, it's always the time. But the time is now. The time is when you feel the impetus. When you look in the mirror and go, "Did I? I got to make a change." Push into it. Stop making excuses and just go. Okay, well, let's do it. If I feel it, if I see it, then let's do it. Let's do it. And this is why I just want to encourage you. This is why you pay for a coach too. You pay for a coach because. Man, they have insights to give. Uh, they're going to help you be a guide, right? Luke needs Obi Wan. He needs Yoda. He can't do it himself. And why? Why go through the headache of trying to learn it himself when he can have a guide? So you pay for insights. You pay for their example, right? Not just theory, because they did it. This is where with the Spartan program, like I've I have gained weight and lost weight multiple times, but at the height of my business success, at the height of the demands of pressures and, and leadership and work and family at the height of all those things um, and being a hundred pounds overweight uh, and still trying to make things thrive around me in the height of all that pressure, I lost a hundred pounds because I changed who I was. I stopped making excuses and I said, that's not who I am anymore. This is who I am. And, and so I've done it at the age, right at the age of 40. So I'm not some 20 year old telling you to get, to get ripped uh, that you can get ripped and, and I still right can eat seven cheeseburgers a day because my metabolism is through the roof. I have a horrible metabolism, right? I've had to reset my metabolism. I've had to reset insulin sensitivity. I've had to do a lot of the work and, and I didn't have a, uh, you know, I didn't have a lot of, uh, a uh, help. Uh, but, but I, fortunately for me, I, I reached out and, and I learned and then, uh, I, I got help. I got coaching. I got, uh, resources and helps, um, because I, I couldn't do it alone. And so I just want to encourage you, like it's never a good time. So just do it, just start and, and consider then paying for a coach who will give you insights, who will give you an example, not just theory, but their own, um, their own life example. And, and they'll give you encouragement and accountability. Um, because there are going to be moments when it's hard, where you need help. And there's going to be times when you fail and you need to be picked back up. So, why, why, why pay? We, we pay because we want results. And we pay because we want to do things faster and better than we could have done by ourselves. So, I want you to consider that. Consider um, reaching out. Go to the SpartanProgram.com. Reach out. Uh, go to SethWinterHalter.com. Schedule, schedule a free call. Let's just get on the phone and chat about where you're at, where you want to be, and let's see if one of the programs I offer could be a solution because I really do. I'm not just here to sell programs. Like in fact, I like I I don't. Um, there are other things I'd I, I'd rather be doing with my life. If if I'm completely honest, I do this because I'm so passionate about making sure just specifically men are healthy. I just uh, I because I was not a healthy man. I wasn't healthy physically, which meant I wasn't as healthy as I could have been mentally and emotionally. And I saw that impact on the people I loved and the people I wanted to serve. And I just know if men and women specifically, but for me, because I'm a guy and because um, it's just easier for me to understand kind of the psychology and and the realities of, of, of men, um, I just want men to be healthy. And so that's why I continue to offer the program it is because um, healthier men are going to make the things that they touch, the things that they lead, the things that they oversee, they, you're going to make those things healthier. And I, it's a mission in my life, whether it's in consulting businesses or coaching people, I would rather be an agent that brings heaven to earth instead of allowing hell to continue Um because I made it easier on me. So I, I want to help people learn from what I've learned. And that is, man, the world needs you. Um, the world needs you at your healthiest. 
And so, you know, I, I'm not in shape so I can look good. I'm in shape because I want to offer the world my best. And the world starts with the people closest to me. They deserve my best. They deserve me at my emotional best. They deserve me at my mental best. And that means then that my physical best, the vessel, the vehicle that transports the mind and the body that allows me to function um, and do all the things I want to do with the people that I love, it means I have to be at my physical best. So are you? And if you're not, then reach out. TheSpartanProgram.com. Um, join the free Facebook group, Spartan Body and Mind, and be surrounded with people who will help you get after it. Because there's never a good time. There's just time. And so stop wasting it. Until next time.